Gall mite is often referred to as aloe canker. It is a microscopic mite that you cannot see by the naked eye. It usually infects the flowers generally, but it can also infect the plant as well. So you can see here what it's done to the plant. The flower itself has been manipulated. The gall mite manipulates the plant cells so they turn into multiplication. So it ends up looking the same as what we would have as a wart. The gall mite, you can also see, has attacked the body of the plant, in other words, the leaves. So if we look here, on this section here, you can see there is a frilly edge. A frilly edge is one of the giveaways that you have canker. We have a frilly edge there, a frilly edge here, and if you look on this leaf in particular, you can see we have a raised frilly edge all along this side here. There are two methods that I'm going to show you today in which you can try and remove the canker. So I'm going to use this sharp knife, nice and clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this frilly edge section off here. So I need to go all the way back here. I'm going to cut underneath. I'm not going to cut at the top. This little mite is quite, is very prolific. So I need to make sure that I remove anything away. Again, I'm going to come in here, nice clean cut out of the way. So there you can see. So we've taken this slither off. By taking the slither off, we've created an open wound. So I'm just going to apply, we just do the paintbrush, a powder form of rose sulfur dressing powder. This is a natural fungicide that I use. And what it does, it acts as a barrier, it goes into the plant and it stops any possible diseases from coming through. So I'm going to come back, meeting where I joined up. Make sure when you cut, you don't go all the way through. Cut around to the edge. There we are. And then we should be able to, as you can see here, peel away quite happily. So I haven't left too much flesh inside. You see there's the leaf sheath on the other side. Remove that. And again, I'm going to put a little bit of the yellow rose dressing sulfur powder on and I'm just going to dab it in. Any excess you can blow off but you can see it's in there now. So anything that was would be an open wound has now been covered. In the event that you have like this unfortunate aloe where I have canker here, 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 here for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to show you the extreme method of which you need to eradicate your aloe of canker. So, I know that a top section here is quite a lot of canker in it and it goes all the way down to this leaf here. So I'm literally going to cut underneath. So all this growth on the top I'm going to remove. So I have a sharp pair of clean secateurs and I'm going to cut underneath but just above where the next leaf comes out. So you can see here, this leaf here, they've got an canker starting in there. So I'm going to cut just underneath that leaf sheath there. I'm going to cut at a 45 degree angle. So in the event of any rain in a few days time, will just wash away instead of sitting on my wound. So I'm literally going to just cut it off. So here we have, we've cut it off. We can see here underneath, We've gone through at the, at the place where we need to, where this leaf starts, you see it starts to grow around, and we've cut at the bottom of the leaf sheath on the, from what we've taken away. We are and at a 45 degree angle, nice clean cut. Again, I'm just going to dust on some rose powder, rose dressing powder. I'm going to leave it like that. Leave it in a dry area, if possible, for about three days before you put it out. Here we have another plant, also the same species, that suffered from canker. You can see in here in the center, where my finger is, that is where the original cut was done. The original leaves are the older leaves from the original 
plant and you can see here it's propagated out nicely. That concludes today's tutorial. If you would like any more information or you would like to give me some feedback, please give me your information in the comments below this section. I would love to hear from you. Thanking you. Till next time. Bye.